Varanasi has also often been called one enormous graveyard, a graveyard watched over by the god Shiva. The ashes of millions of devotees, as well as those of the founders of modern India, Mahatma Gandhi and Pandit Nehru, were cast into the river here. Every year, 40,000 people are still cremated here on open pyres. Now, as hundreds of years ago, great stacks of wood await the dead. Wood is now so expensive, however, that the poor are cremated in an electric furnace a little higher up the river. People have even come here to take their own life. There was a time when old men could make their way to the banks of the Ganga here, buy two large casks, tie themselves to them, and paddle out into the stream. When the casks filled with water, they sank, and the man they were supporting was liberated from the cycles of reincarnation. The sick and aged come to Varanasi, sometimes for months or years to wait for death. The rituals are age-old and most elaborate. The families of the deceased themselves carry the corpse to the river for a last holy bath. And then they carry it to the funeral pyre. Hindus believe that all who are cremated here achieve moksha. They are finally liberated from the unending cycle of reincarnation. That's why Hindus from all over India bring their deceased relatives here. The practice is so widespread that the funeral pyres on the cremation ghats burn practically day and night. When the ashes are strewn upon the waters, the soul of the deceased is borne up to heaven by the sacred river. It's customary for one of a family's sons to light the fire. The hope is that the departed will, if nothing else, improve their chances in the next life. The corpses are burned before sunset on the day they die. The skull cracked open to release the spirit. The remains are sent into the muddy, slow-moving Ganga. Not all bodies are burned. The bodies of holy men, infants, people who have been bitten by snakes, pregnant women and animals are sunk in midstream of the river instead. To stand beside the Ganga and observe the varied rites taking place on the ghats is to witness the way in which, for the initiated, the river represents a kind of holy, mythical geography. For believers, the Ganga one sees is but a shadow, a symbol in a way, of the real but invisible Ganga that flows in heaven. <laughs>